Hey everyone, my name is Arvin Olano and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, nobody asked, but today I'm going to be sharing with you my strategies on how to shop at HomeGoods and my secrets to finding quality pieces, designer pieces, that won't break the bank. Now, before I begin, if you're looking for a channel that's going to help you live your style so that you can live a fashionable life, this is it, so you can go down below and hit that subscribe button. So if you don't follow me on Instagram already, you should. It's at Arvin Olano because I post all of my incredible finds in my stories and you guys are always telling me that I find the best things. All right, so let's get on with my first strategy. Before you even go to Home Goods, start a vision board on Pinterest. When it comes to designing your home, it could get overwhelming very quickly. So I recommend going on Pinterest and searching your design style, whether that be mid-century modern, minimal, maybe even bohemian, but start pinning those images that really inspire you. That way, when you are at Home Goods, you have something to reference back to, whether it be the color palette, the styling of the space, or even the types of furniture that you should be looking at for. Now the vision board will help you stay on track so that your space will look and feel like a thoughtfully designed home. My next strategy is to shop early in the morning during the weekends. So from Thursday through Sunday, I usually like to go around 9.30 in the morning. That way it's not crowded. And I actually found out that associates will start putting out new items around five o'clock in the morning so that when they open their doors, the store is fully stocked and ready to be shopped. I also like to check out multiple locations during the weekends because at the end of the day, home goods is a business and their busiest times are during the weekend, which means they are more than likely to put out the best pieces during those days. It's all about location, location, location. Try to find a home goods that's near a high-end neighborhood because they are more than likely to carry higher priced items and generally better items than the home goods near the not so high-end neighborhood. And this is why I like to shop different locations during the day because every store will carry something different and one store could be great for art pieces while another store could be great for shelf decor. You just never know, but make sure you're paying attention to the location. And honestly, I like to call myself the home goods hunter because I find quality designer pieces. So let's get on with the nitty gritty and I'm gonna be sharing with you my secrets on how to find those pieces. My first secret to finding designer pieces is to pay attention to branded tags and pieces that come in boxes. I actually have an example of a tag. This is by the brand Erin, and it's actually from a lamp um, from my Home Goods Shop with Me haul that I did last week. And if you haven't seen that video yet, I'm gonna leave a link up in the cards so you can check it out. I also have an example of a piece that comes in a box. This I actually got just yesterday. It's a candle holder by the brand Nude Glass. Home Goods was selling this piece for $14.99, and I decided to look up the brand on Google and it turns out the piece is still selling on the Saks and Neiman Marcus website for $160. Here is the piece in question. It's absolutely stunning. I love how sculptural it is. And you can just tell that it's a high quality designer piece. So whenever you see something branded, just make sure you look it up on Google so you can be sure what kind of piece you are getting. So you're probably wondering, how does Home Goods carry these designer pieces? Well, they're probably getting it from third-party stores like Saks or Neiman's, or they're getting it straight from the manufacturer. So make sure you're paying attention when you're walking down those aisles and take your time and look for those branded tags and beautiful boxes. Another great spot to find designer pieces is the rug section. Rugs can get expensive very quickly, so I recommend going through every single piece that they have in that location. Home Goods will sometimes stock designer rugs for almost 90% off. And if you're lucky, you might just find one in your local store. I always pay attention to the tag of the rug because it will tell you where it's made, the brand, the fabrication, the size, and the price. 
And then, of course, I will pull up Google, I will search this exact rug, and this tag is actually from a runner that I got last week. It's by the brand Rizzy Home. And when I searched this exact rug, it was still selling online for about $800, and I got it for $129.99. That's almost 85% off on a designer rug that's high quality and beautifully made. Statement art pieces is another great thing that you should keep a lookout for. I just don't wanna spend a lot of money on art, you guys, because it can get very expensive. While you're in the art section, take your time and look through pieces and look for something that is original and that's painted by an artist. You can tell if an art piece is an original because normally the piece will have a tag in the front, it will have the name of the artist and maybe a little paragraph about their style and where they're from. Here is an example right behind me is a stunning piece by Sarah Brooke. She is an artist that's based in Melbourne and I love how minimal and simple this piece is, but it really packs a statement. And it was actually in the clearance section. It was originally 200 50, and I got it for 180 which is still a lot of money, but it's actually a really big piece. It's like six foot tall, and it really makes a statement here in my studio, so I could justify that price. If this was at Pottery Barn or West Elm, I'm sure it'll be like over $500. I saved my best strategy slash secret for last, and that is if you like something, just get it, because if you don't, you will never see it again. I learned this lesson the hard way because last week I actually found the matching rug to my Rizzy Home Runner and I decided to leave it behind and the following day it was gone and I was so devastated, hard lesson learned. So again, if you like something, just get it and when you're checking out, you can actually email your receipt. That way, if it doesn't work out, you can always return it. All right, everyone, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and leave me a comment down below and smash that like button so that I know to keep making videos just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.